Hey everyone, welcome to Jet Quiz Facts. This is our fifth video, and today our quiz is based on history. So let's get started. So we all know yesterday I had done a setting, and uh, there will be five questions and ten seconds for one question. And uh, I know that history is a little boring, so I have done a uh, thought for you. craving adventure history isn't a dusty textbook it's a time machine explore ancient empires witness revolutionary movements and feel the echoes of humanity's triumphs and tragedies each era a story each life a puzzle piece dive in the past holds the key understanding our present shaping our future ready to unlock its secrets <clears throat> so basically uh, here i am trying to tell you that history isn't just a boring subject it is like a time machine which uh, makes us go in other period uh, when we learn anything in history so we live in that moment we feel the feelings of the uh, characters in that moment so let's get started for this question Our first question for today is which of the following battles is considered to be the biggest and toughest fight faced by Chhatrapati Shivaji Maharaj Option number 1 Pratapgarh in 1659 Option number 2 Siege of Sihagarh in 1670 Option number 3 Battle of Kolhapur in 1659 Option number 4 Battle of Umbarkhind in 1660 so your 10 second starts now timer is ticking time up so let's see what is answer of this question so answer of this question is option number 2 of sihagarh is the right answer of this question so strategic importance so here's the reason why it was the toughest and longest uh, war of shivaji maharaj strategic importance capturing this heavily fortified fort <coughs> meant securing control of a key trade route mughal defense a large and experienced mughal force defended the force unconventional tactics shivaji used a daring night raid instead of his usual guerrilla tactics due to the fort's strength high casualties both sides suffer heavy losses including the heroic sacrifice of maratha soldier baji prabhu deshpande vikki despite the challenges shivaji maharaj forces ultimately captured the fort making a major victory and a turning point in the maratha mughal conflict so uh, here they have told that uh, sihagarh's fight was big because uh, their <coughs> army uh, the sihagarh's early army was big uh, ha- here in mughal defense they have told a large and experienced mughal force defended the fort so let's get to the next question Which historical figure is most often cited as holding the greatest amount of land at any one point in history? Option number one, Alexander the Great. Option number two, Genghis Khan. Option number three, Emperor Ashoka. Option number four, Cyrus the Great. So your ten seconds starts now. Timer is ticking. Time up. So we will see what is answer of this question. Answer of this question is option number two, Genghis Khan. It is the right answer of this question. So here's an <coughs> explanation. While all options ruled over significant territories, Genghis Khan is verified. considered to have held the most land at a single point in history his mongol empire stretched from eastern europe 
to the Pacific Ocean, encompassing an estimated 13 mile, million square kilometers at its peak. Military conquests on Genghis Khan's military campaigns led to led to creation of the largest contiguous land empire in history, short-lived empire. Through vast Mongol empire fragmented after death, limiting its long-term impact. So here, uh, here is the explanation. And the Genghis Khan had a land, uh, had owned the land of 13 million square kilometers at its peak. So it was from his empire stretched from Pacific, Eastern Europe to Pacific Ocean. So it was a big empire. So we will move to question number three. Which historical invention is best known for its impact on communication and informational sharing? Option number one, steam engine. Option number two, the printing press. Option number three the telephone option number four the electric light bulb so your 10 seconds starts now timer sticking time up so we will see what is answer of this question so answer of this question is option number three, the telephone. Mass production of texts. It enabled the mass production of books, pamphlets, and other printed materials making information accessible to wider audience. Spread of knowledge. This factorized the spread of knowledge and ideas fueling intellectual movements like renaissance and reformation. Preservation of information. It allowed for the preservation and dissemination of information across the time and space, leaving a lasting impact on communication and knowledge sharing. Therefore, considering the specific focus on communication and information sharing, the printing press stands out as the most fitting answer. Remember, historical interpretations can vary and other options might also be considered and depending on your perspective so option number uh, three is right so here's fourth question which ancient wonder was not only a religious monument but also a testament to cultural exchange and diversity the Colosseum, <clears throat> roman entertainment the hanging gardens of babylon mesopomenial marvel Option number three, the Get Pyramid of Giza, Egyptian Tomb, the Terracotta Army, Chinese burial site. So your 10 seconds starts now for this question. Timer sticking. Time up. So we will see what is answer of this question. Answer of this question is option number two, Hanging Gardens of Babylon, Mesopotam Marvel. Religious significance, the hanging gardens were likely dedicated to Babylonian goddess Ishtar, serving as a religious site, cultural exchange. The gardens incorporated plants and architectural elements from various regions. Showcasing the exchange of knowledge and materials across, across different cultures. Diversity. The garden's design and construction invoked, involved skilled laborers and specialists from various backgrounds reflecting the diverse population of Babylon. So, here's an image of the hanging gardens in the left side corner. So, we will move to next question question number five which historical event occurring before the 16th century is best known for its impact on trade and culture cultural exchange option number one the crusades option number two fall of roman empire option number three the silk road trade 
option number four the mongol conquests so here are 10 seconds for this question starts now time up but there's a mistake that i showed the answer so the answer of this question is option number three the silk road trade connecting east and west this network of trades routes linked europe asia and africa facilitating the exchange of goods ideas and cultures for over 1500 years culture diffusion and this trade led to the spread of religions like buddhism and islam artistic styles and scientific knowledge across vast distances economic prosperity the silk road fertilized trade in luxury goods like silk spices and polyclean boosting commerce and economic activity in various regions so uh, that wa there was a silk road uh, there was a market or a road named the silk road so it was a very vast uh, what we say market and here's an image so it was spread in very vast area area from china india persia arabia somalia egypt europe java and many more so we will end our session or uh, quiz today like and subscribe our channel to get more quizzes like this and thanks for watching